Let's talk about DJI drones. First up, we've got the Phantom 4. Next, we've got the Mavic or Mavic 2. Next, we've got the Mavic Mini. Looking at these drones, they all have one thing in common, the ability to fly. But which drone is suited for your surveying needs? Over here, we've got the Phantom 4. This drone has been in the market for a couple of years. It's got a great reputation and the results on it are really good. It also has got sensors, which allows you to avoid obstacles. The same as your Mavic 2. It also has got sensors to allow you to avoid obstacles when you fly. The Mavic Mini does not have obstacle avoidance. Looking at the, the battery power capacity of these two bigger consumer drones, the Phantom is about on 30, uh, 30 minutes flight time. The Mavic is about on 31 minutes flight time. Whereas the Mavic Mini is about 34 minutes flight time. The main big diff differences between these drones are the fact that your DJI Phantom 4 Pro has got a mechanical shutter and your Mavic 2 and your Mavic Mini has got rolling shutters. What we prefer personally for survey is a mechanical shutter because your images come out crisp and clear without any distortions. All right, let's talk about the price difference between these drones. Over here, the Phantom 4 is about $1,599. The same as the Mavic 2, which is pretty close to each other, but the Mavic Mini is about $400, which is quite a big price difference. But the reality of it is that you can do survey even with that small drone. You can still be able to get a full out point cloud with that small consumer drone. Um, and that's pretty amazing. But personally, for, for what we do in surveying, we like to fly grids. And currently, the only drones that's able to fly a grid is your Mavic 2 and your Phantom 4. The reason for that is that the SDK is not yet out on the Mavic Mini. If that is to come out, I definitely think the Mavic Mini will be a great, great, great survey tool to have at your hand. Look out for the Mavic Air 2, a new drone, which I think personally will be the most popular for survey when the SDK is released. 